Hey there, welcome to the channel and welcome back to beautiful Okinawa in Japan. Today we're about to explore Okinawa's Chura Umi uh, Aquarium. It's one of the biggest aquariums in the world. It's got fish here from all over the world and it's well known for having a massive, a big tank which hosts some of the biggest fish in the sea, including the whale shark, which is the biggest fish on the planet. So come along with me today as we explore this awesome place in a beautiful part of the world, otherwise known as Okinawa here in Japan. Chura Umi Aquarium opened in November 2002, and since then, it's attracted more than 50 million visitors. The slave behind me is on coral reef creatures, and so we have uh, lots of beautiful corals, lots of tropical fish, including Dory from Finding Nemo. I haven't seen Nemo yet, but I'm sure I'll see him swimming around here sometime shortly. The coral sea tank contains 300 cubic meters of fresh seawater from the sea, which is right out front of the aquarium as well as featuring an array of colorful fish, it includes more than 80 different species of coral which thrive in this environment. The layout of the tank is based on the coral reef which is just off Motobu town, the town nearest to the aquarium. All right, so right now we're in the zone called Coral Reef World where we have lots of uh, cre creatures that you find in the depths of Okinawa, including a few poisonous ones. And some of them are delicious too. Who's up for a bit of lobster? In case you hadn't already worked it out, this is a very popular place here in Okinawa. Uh, this is a Saturday when we're visiting and it's also in the middle of winter, so it's not even the busy tourist season and there's tons of people here today. So you uh, might want to pick a weekday uh, slot when you come and visit. All right, these ones are called pygmy sweepers and they are my favorite fish here so far. Look at them. They are just buzzing. More dories? A lot of dories. All right, in this tank we have a sea snake. There's five types of sea snake here on Okinawa. And we have some very brave, or maybe some very crazy fish. These fish switch gender. They're called seren serenidae. All right, this is one of the highlights of the aquarium. It's called the Kuro Shio Sea. And this is one of the biggest water tanks in the entire world. It's so big because it has to house incredibly big fish like whale sharks, which can grow up to 8.8 .8 meters, and other incredible creatures like massive manta rays. Look at the whale shark right now as it goes across the top of the tank. Well, there's passengers, of course. And you can just see how its incredible size just dwarfs the size of the people watching down below. It's incredible. This piece of plastic right behind me is actually 603 millimeters thick or just over 60 centimeters thick. This is how thick the wall is of that, uh, of that massive tank that we just saw earlier in the video. Look at how wide this is. This is wider than my entire width. All right, so this is the shark research lab where of course you find sharks and also a lot of information about the research they've done to learn more about these incredible sea creatures. Like, did you know that the great white shark, when its babies are born, they weigh 20 kilograms and they are about 1.5 meters in length, which is extraordinary. And they don't have an umbilical cord. All that stuff was discovered through research, like the stuff that you find here in the aquarium. I always find the other fish that live in a shark tank with a shark 
are incredibly brave or they've got a death wish. Because surely they're going to know that one day the big guy in there is going to get a little bit peckish and I may well be his finger food. All right, so this one behind me is the aqua room and this is actually a really cool um, part of the aquarium because when you're sitting down here, it actually feels like you are underwater and you're looking up and you can even see the fish swim above you. It's pretty surreal. Well, if you're like me and you love a little bit of calamari, you should check out this giant squid uh, right behind me. This thing is incredibly long and uh, it's actually caught live, which is even more extraordinary. It's probably got enough here to uh, satisfy the calamari lovers at your lo local fish and chippery for maybe months on end. Due to the uh, deep sea around Okinawa, there are just an incredible number of unique species and unique deep sea species that you can see around these waters, up to 650 of them actually. So let's go check out these incredible creatures that live deep, deep under the blue, blue sea. <laughs> The following creatures were found in the waters of Okinawa at depths greater than 300 meters or 980 feet. With many of them being extremely rare or even brand new species that had been undiscovered until recently. So this is called a split fin flashlight fish and it's very hard to see but if you look really closely you can see these little lights which are uh, <laughs> which are actually on the on the fish and it helps give it some light where it's swimming deep in the depths of the ocean how incredible is that there you go amazing Next to me is a rather unique creature, it's called a goblin shark, which lives at depths of 200 meters beneath the, uh, the ocean surface. It's a rather unusual creature because you see these jaws here, or what happens is they're almost tucked inside their head most of the time the uh, shark is, uh, is swimming. But when it sees prey, in a matter of 0.6 of a second, these front jaws can jump out and snap and just sort of grab its prey and then extract it back into the, uh, into the shark for its dinner. Incredible creature. The sea turtle pools are home to a collection of beautiful turtles, including loggerheads, green turtles, olive ridley turtles, and hawksbill turtles. The latter are rarely bred in captivity, but the aquarium has successfully bred three generations of these animals, the first place to do so in the world. These are the olive ridley turtles, and this is what they where they live, which is not much bigger than the swimming pool that my uncle set up on his farm when I was a kid. All right, so these are black turtles, which I've actually never heard of or never seen before. Love turtles, big fan of them. And uh, it says this uh, this aquarium's been the only place where they've actually bred them, or the first place to breed these in captivity, which is pretty extraordinary. There's one over there. He's waving at us. Probably saying, help, help, help me escape. Get me out of here. Give me a bus ticket to Tokyo. These small enclosures are really troubling. When you look how big these animals are and how much space they normally have to swim in when they're out in the ocean. Hope there's some kind of plan to put these into a bigger tank or the ocean one day, or at least in the ocean. Okay, uh, just outside the front of the, or outside the rear of the aquarium is this dolphin pool where you can feed some of the resident dolphins um, for 500 yen, which is around about $5 Australian. You can get yourself a little sweet little bucket of uh, fish food here. Ooh. Of fish food here, okay, we, and some ice that we're gonna feed to uh, the dolphins. Because obviously, dolphins like their fish with a little bit of ice. Okay, here we go. One, two, Ichi, ni san. Oh, nearly got it in his mouth. Sorry, buddy, I'm gonna share it around. Okay, here we go, they're clicking at me. All right, I love dolphins, this is a lot of fun. 
It's troubling how small the pool is though, but uh, gee, I don't know. When you look at those cute little faces, got some ice, you want ice? There we go. Oh, we got that. Ice is cold. One, two, three. Oh, here we go. Here's big gutso again. All right, look at those teeth gutso. There we go. Oh, sorry, terrible throw, my fault. All right, as I delve into uh, my bucket for the last little bit of fish, here we go. All right, ready? Oh, look at that. I've got a show on. Bombs away. One, two, three. Who wants it? Who wants it? Gutso. Oh, hit him on the head. Oh, there they go. It's always like when I'm not watching. Why is that? These dolphins know, don't they? Look at that. Oh, hello. Well, this place, as you can see, is jam packed full of amazing creatures from all over this beautiful part of the world. The Churi Umi Aquarium, mate, you should definitely put it on your places to see when you make it here to the amazing Okinawa in Japan. What was your favorite creature? Let me know in the comments section down below. I'd love to hear from you. If you want to learn more about Japan and travel in other destinations like Australia and the UAE and other parts of this incredible planet, then you want to click on this video over here right now. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video.